Good morning. How are you? And it's Friday. I can't believe how fast the weeks are going. So look at this. Look at my new mug. I suppose it's backwards, but I'm sure you can say, see, it says, hello, gorgeous. This was an awesome, awesome gift from hello, gorgeous, my gorgeous sister and niece, Ethel and Shelly. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, you got, you gave me, they sent me a box of goodies, but this is just perfect. I love it. And I can hardly wait to make an espresso coffee to put in there. I know it's like chocolates, goodies, coffee. It's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. But <laughs> I love the mug. Aw, welcome, Linda. I'm so happy to see everybody. Hello, gorgeous. I'm just showing off my mug. Okay, I'm going to have a sip of coffee. And then I'll probably have, forget about it and we'll go cold, but I'm going to treat myself later. I put a little cinnamon there. It's yummy. So, oh, you know, it's a really gloomy day. It seems like it's really dark in here. Um, I'm going to start with my eye cream. My eyes are just, there's, I'm holding my own. I think there's a slight improvement, um, but it's just slight. <laughs> yeah, isn't it gorgeous? I know. It's like, I need to find... I should be getting those and giving those to gifts to everybody who buys um, my beauty box, which I want to tell you girls about. I mean, not you girls, because you already have it and you already love it. But the beauty box, for those that don't know, I mean, you can you can buy two items and spend $100 plus, right? But if you buy the beauty box, it's $119 and you get 15 Full sized, full sized items, and so if you want the box, click the link and then and let and I will contact you and help you to make your first order on there because when you get the box, you are given um, 100 po points towards your first essential rewards link, and when you reach 200. Um, over that, you're going to earn Y cash. That's, you know, Y cash is cash sitting on your account that you can spend. And they also give you 25. And you also earn 20% commissions back. So if you place your first order within the 10 days, you're going to get 20%. And they've given you $100. So that's like another $10. So they've given you 25. So that's $35. Or wait, yeah, $35 off your first order plus <laughs> the extra commissions, whatever you make. So it is such a good deal. And even, you don't have to do the business. And even if you don't place another order, say, well, you need to keep your account active. But if you don't, that's fine. It goes inactive, right? And after six months, you'd have to buy a new presenter's box. But if you are buying makeup, like we should be buying a new mascara every three months. Hello, gorgeous. Welcome, Amber. So good to see you. Um, if you're buying a you know, a mascara or a moisturizer or, you know, there's always these things or, uh, you know, adding to your, um, your beautiful makeup wardrobe, then why not be earning yourself for it back? So I'm going to, I strongly encourage you. It's just the best deal. That's why I did it. And, and then of course, if you wanted to do the business with me, I'm here to help and, and, um, join my team. I've already got a couple uh, with me working in the business and we are Team Blossom. <laughs> Love it. Because I'm seeing, the reason why I chose that name is I see people, women, blossoming using the makeup just like I did. I know it's like in the last two years since I've lived here, I've only made six, five or six posts on Facebook. And once I started wearing the makeup and feeling different about myself. It gave me confidence. And like this 100 year old woman said, you you look better, you feel better. And it's so true. And so I am sharing this and it's like, this isn't me. It's like, you know, I'm breaking out of my comfort zone to do this. Oh, I don't know why. It's just like any cream feels so good on my eyes. So I'm just putting on my mattifying face primer. And the reason why I love this so much is that it uh, blurs, you know, your pores, your fine lines, and it just gives a smooth finish for your foundation. And 
thinking? Oh no, there's no lid. What am I thinking? I'm moving things around again, girls. <laughs> I just got this little nest of makeup and it's so much fun. This is my favorite corner. Uh, one more sip. <laughs> I just have to show off my mug. Hello, gorgeous. Welcome, Doris. Hello, Marietta. Oh, I love your name. Welcome, gorgeous. So happy to see everybody. So let's talk about the bundle. And it's the last bundle. We've had um, 10. <laughs> it's bundle number 10. <laughs> Clue, LB. And it ends, it ends Sunday, but it is our number, my number one bestseller is the liquid eyeshadows. And I'll see if I can hold them all up to show you. Wow. They are just beautiful. And the reason why they are my number one seller is because you know, when you watch people making, doing their makeup with their eye, and it can look very, very, con you know, complicated, and then you try to go and duplicate that, you might forget what did they do, and it seems like difficult till you learn. But I can show you looks with these, and you can get the product, and you can do it, and have the same results. It is so easy. Welcome, Karis. Hello, gorgeous. And so the the most common and easy one and done are the nudes. And actually there's one more that I'm gonna add. So this is called Reverend and it is, it's a champagne nude, it's beautiful and it's everyone's favorite. This is the number one seller and this comes in the box. This comes in your beauty kit. Then the next one I would say is my second favorite is Giggly. And it's, so you can see this is like this beautiful champagne and this is this soft pink. And then Business Like is just a titch darker of pink so these are your nudes and they're gorgeous and these pair so nicely with the deeper colors so you could take egotistical and giggly and that would make a beautiful transition I know I was like wanting to do you know any of these you can do any of these and then you can take this one is exalted it's like a coral gorgeous in the spring and look at that, that would just be another gorgeous. Then you can have, um, this is, I think, oh, Willed, another one that you can transition. And the other one that goes lovely is Overt. So you can see Reverend just goes with all to do a two shadow look. But I'm gonna do a one shadow look today. I'm gonna use Overt and it is this metallic. So these colors come in either matte or metallic and they're just, so easy because they they go on with a, they have a doe foot applicator you can use your fingers to blend i always use a brush but I, that's probably because i have nails if i didn't have nails i would just easily you would just blend it with your fingers done and then you can do your second one blend and done and the thing is is they don't crease they don't smudge they don't move they don't budge <laughs> Hey, that rhymed. I didn't, I didn't plan that, that just happened. So, really nice for young and old, any age, love love these. So I am going to do over it because what is so cool about it is it's like it's multi-shades and it looks like you've done more than one color and you didn't, it's just one and done. So, now I'm sorry, my eyes are not going to really showcase this look. <laughs> But hey, I'll do I'll do my best. But it's just not you know it's not gonna look great because they are swollen, and they are, um, you know, not doing good. I, I'm the antibiotic drops are working now, so I know it is it's an infection, and I can it is similar to the one that I had in 2011, mm -hmm. and I had one two two years ago. They don't smudge or budge. Yeah, they don't, and they don't crease. They're so easy. You can jump in the swimming pool and they'll stay. Um, so I am going to use the crease brush just to blend it because like, like I said you can use your fingers but and the other thing is to is to stay low and then you can blend up and they dry fairly quickly so I only do one eye at a time no you could do two eyes if you're gonna use your fingers you could apply both and then just use both fingers right so here goes and again I apologize for my gross eyes 
and you don't need a, I don't think you need a primer with these. I think you can do it. So you see, you notice they didn't put an eye primer on because they don't budge. So this is such a pretty color. And this will cover up the redness. I know I love adding Reverend and the inner corner. And you, the other thing you can do is you can use these with powdered shadows, which I've done. And I love it. Like I'll use um, either Reverend or Ornate. See, now my redness makes it look blotchy, but what can we do, eh? Actually, I want the fluffy crease brush. I think. Uh, I think I overblend. Yeah, it's just my skin is really not in good condition. It's not going to showcase them the way they should on my smooth eyes. But what can I do? I'm going to just put a little more in this outer corner. Now, if you did use your fingers, you would just press it in. I'm not very good with my fingers. Okay, enough of that. Gotta go for the brush. Yeah, I can just tell my eyes are just not. And I've got some other stuff on my eyes, maybe, because I have this other stuff, up, drops and stuff, it's affecting. It's not going on as smooth as they normally do. I applied my drops just before I came on. Forgot about that. So here goes the other side. So again, they will look even better on you. I truly love these. Everyone does actually. I know when I first saw them, I thought liquid eyeshadow. No, not for me. And then it's like my favorite. And palette six is my favorite. And the reason why I do it first is just so I can clean up if I, especially when you're using your fingers. So it just doesn't look great right now. <laughs> but when I get the rest of the makeup on, it will look better. But it's just, it's just because of my eye thing. So what can we do? I know it's going to take a while to heal. At least they feel, I at least my vision is clearer and um, they're slowly not, they're not as itchy, so that's nice too. Just going to take a while. I look like I've been, <laughs> I got two black eyes, I know. Wait till you get the makeup on. But it would look better if I didn't have all this redness. Hello, Shelly, welcome. And thank you, sweetie. I just have to say thank you for my mom. <laughs> I love it. Mm. I can hardly wait to have an espresso. So, on to now. I was thinking um, the last time I showed you for dry skin, which I st I'm, it's now my favorite one for right now, is using my BB cream, and then I put the pressed powder on. But today I will use the BB cream, and I think I wasn't sure what I was going to do, and then I think I will use my liquid foundation to show you how you can add this BB cream to your liquid foundation to add extra moisture. All right, where's the right color? I think I will use, I can't decide, lace. And so you need to like squeeze to get the, get the makeup out of because it does separate. It's a mineral-based serum. And give it a really good shake. Hello, Susan, welcome. Hello, gorgeous, welcome. Nice to see you. Everyone, I love all my favorite, my favorite people are here. Everyone's, everyone's my favorite people. If you're on here, you're my favorite people. <laughs> I can hardly wait to show you this, this. I think this is my favorite sweater so far from Pretty Cute Things and it's on the website. <laughs> I've got like, I'm so bad. I've got three more orders on my way because I have this awesome sale for you girls right now. Buy two, get one free. 
sale is it ends on Sunday and it is um, ooh, splotched I want to get that put my sleeve in it and uh, she's got the cutest things as you can see I'm, I've got my bralettes and then she's got a new layering tank and a spaghetti strap and this one is I'll show you after I'll show you after it is it's adorable look at the sleeves <laughs> It's called um, Mint and Spice, I think. I just love it. I just love it. Can I show you? Okay. So, you know, I'm going to use, you can use, I don't know, you can use your kabuki brush. I can use my powder concealer brush. I'll use my, my uh, and I'm going to shake this too. And so this is, our BB cream is a tinted moisturizer. It's so nourishing. And, and I, by the way, the reason why I have some breakouts is I went for a facial. <laughs> it was so, so wonderful. And and she also did a microdermabrasion. So that's the um, melon. Gordon, what's a guy? You don't need makeup. <laughs> I hope it's it's not Gordon. I hope it's um, Julie on here. So I'm just going to do some foundation. Oh, no, this is the liquid. Yeah. Trying to not sure how much to put and then I'm gonna add my liquid foundation on here too and so the BB cream is a light coverage and it's very gives you this dewy finish your liquid foundation is um, more more coverage and it's buildable and it also goes on liquid but it dries to a powder finish so it will help mattify this and so I'm just going to start blotching it. And you will see the redness disappear in my face. Our, um, and I'm actually, with my eyes, I am not even going to do concealer today because it's just too wrinkly. I just am so anxious. get it cleared up oh that feels very good mm. yes when they brought out the our liquid foundation it was um, actually I'm going to use just a little bit of this on this brush so I can get in around my eyes because I'm not going to use a concealer See if I can get in closer. Or maybe I will have to use a concealer. Good thing for um, zooming and not people not getting to having to see people. Except right now, it's awful when you go with your mask and that's all they see. <laughs> It's like, oh my word, that poor girl. So when I was had my, it was actually, it was my little spa afternoon. I went for my um, facial and then I had a massage after and I intended to come home and um, put my feet up and ice my knee and I didn't I had so much work to do that I just kept putzing it's like oh, totally ruined it I know I'm sorry Shelly I told you I was gonna go and rest after and I didn't I didn't all right I want to put maybe I'm gonna use a little bit of just the BB cream under my eye I'm gonna use my fingers So this, the color of BB cream I'm using is called Bisque. And then there's, it's like a soft beige. This will give me light coverage, but it'll be moisturizing. And it'll, it just feels good. Because if I, I'm, I'm worried with all of those wrinkles, it'll just look too Although, I do have a concealer in my same color as my foundation. 
Oh well, I'm not going to do it today. I'm not going anywhere. So, there we go. So down your neck. Now, if you want, I, I still always do love going in with a little bit of pressed powder. And it's just going to smooth out that finish. Oh, I love my big brush. And you need to wash your brushes often. Um, I'm doing mine again. Like I wash them in between. I have our brush cleaner, which is amazing. You just spray it on and then rub it off on a paper towel and it just cleans them right up. But then I take and wash them all with an antibacterial soap because that will also, so if you are prone to acne, it can be your brushes aren't clean because bacteria so easily builds up. There we go. It's getting a little better, right? Okay, now on to, again, I love using our pressed powders for foundation or for contouring and I'm going to use 12. I'm going to use one with a little bit more color today. Um, I don't think it's on the site, but other one, really nice ones are Royal. And I just feel like I'm pale today, so I'm going to add a little bit more color. Just looking for my brush. There we go. I love the tapered blusher brush. It's a must. And again, it's 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 really highly pigmented, so you don't need any. It gives you coverage. Hello, Catherine. Welcome. Hello, gorgeous. And so I like to swirl it in the cap. And then, again, just with... Um, if you make that fishy, fishy face, your hollow, right under your cheekbone, is where you want this, because that's going to create this it's going to make that recede and it's going to make your cheekbone pop and so you can see that's basically from the top of your ear aiming towards the corner of your mouth right so with a light hand I'm just going to and when you start to see a line and I basically do you see your my corner of my eye I basically stop at the corner of my eye and don't go beyond that and then with this tapered brush, it sort of does all the work for you. And then you blend it. So you kind of can blend the top line or you can blend down. And it's just such a pretty color. Look at that. So when we've put our foundation on, we've basically evened out all of our skin tone, but that doesn't look natural. We naturally have, you know, shadows and, you know, coloring. And so we're putting that back. Same thing on the other side. Light hand. From the top of your ear. Towards the corner of your mouth. And then turn it and blend it. And not to worry because our setting powder also will smooth and blend everything out. So now again, I'm going to just add it along my hairline. So what's everybody doing this weekend? Anybody book, have any, is anybody treating themselves to some spas? And then again, under the jaw, so you, you go under the jaw, but I will even just slightly on the jaw where our, my cheek has dropped from gravity and aging. And so that will just darken that a little bit and trying to make it recede. My earring is getting in the way. Aren't these cute? I just love these. Okay, let's get this out of the way. And then I drag it down. And it's just trying to make it a more defined, more youthful looking jawline. And then, okay, I just have to wipe my nose, sorry. Yeah, every time I get on air, it starts to 
I'm a cat. <laughs> Get a wet nose. Okay. Now, I like to put a little bit on the down each side of my nose to slenderize that. And under the just makes it look pouty. There we go. One and done. <laughs> I love that. My new saying. Everything like massage and hair salons and nail tech. Oh, you're shut down there. Yes. That's right. That's right. Alberta's got it bad. Yeah, they're still going here. I kept thinking they were going to cancel mine, but they didn't. So it's like, okay. But And they are being very, very good and very, very careful. And because um, they wear the full mask and everything, um, which is makes you feel good. Now I'm going to do my blush and I'm going to do the color sweet again. That's just so pretty. They're also pretty. Usually I grab sisterly. That seems to be my, my go-to favorite. And you'll either get sisterly or sweet in the beauty box, which again is this awesome deal. So I like to stipple it on using the tapered blusher brush. And again, right on the top of your cheekbone, which is hugging your bronzer or contouring. Restaurants only have takeout or delivery and the gyms are closed too. Yeah, I can imagine. You, so I hope you got your last supper out, eh? Did you, did you, did you buy extra to take home to freeze? Tonight's my pizza night. I always look forward to Friday night. And actually it's become a new special treat. So I have a very dear friend in Grand Prairie. She lost her husband two days after my Ken died. So we went to college together. We both took our MOA, medical office assistants. Um, we both were into quilting, so we would take a lot of quilting classes together. <clears throat> oh, another thing you can do is take the rose toning water, especially in the winter time, and I could just spritz it again, adding a little bit more moisture into your skin. Yeah, I love pizza, except, you, you know, I used to love our homemade pizzas. So now I am going to, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna see if I can take a little bit of this and blend it at the top. Of my, I'm taking a little bit of my BB cream and just, just because it's so uneven. Let's just see if I can, there we go. All right, on to brows. And so what we do, we've been doing, is I'm going to use my brow palette. And I'm, I know it's going to come back. I know it's going to come back and then you're all going to be so glad that you saw me use it to show you how. So I use the, this, I love the, and the, the thing is having good brushes. You know, any trade you do, you need your tools. You need good tools. And so these brushes are amazing because they're, you know, good quality. They really help you with proper application. I know, it's. I'm just hating that. It looks blotchy because of all my redness underneath. <clears throat> anyway, enough of that. So my girlfriend and I, we started, well, it happened, um, she did, uh, on her anniversary, she didn't know what she was going to do to get through it. I said, well, let's, I'll, I'll spend it with you. I can't be there with in person, but let's spend the weekend together watching movies and series. So I had a couple series lined up that she hadn't seen and we just binged watched the whole weekend and it was so much fun that we decided, okay, look at this little fellow here, go down, that we decided that we would keep doing that every weekend. So we, we Friday night, we have our pizza and our movie night together. Well, we haven't been watching movies. We've been actually watching series. So we just finished The Crown. And that's quite controversial. I'm sure they... I wonder if the royals watched that. That would be interesting to know. I'm sure they wouldn't like it. Has anybody else watched it too? So now I'm looking for some more series. I've got... I heard... Shelly told me, I think um, you mentioned a few things to watch. So I've got that written down. 
And there was another series that I was going to check out too. Can't remember the name though right off the top of my head. So I'm using the darker shade in this medium palette to line, to like smarten up my edge, which is, you know, can get a little wonky. I can see it's really fading my, I had my brows ombre, powder ombre, I can believe they call it. And they, she did do a darker color. And it didn't, she said it will lighten, but it didn't. But it is fading now. And would I do it again? You know, I don't think I would. I don't know. I really don't feel like I need to because now I've got the perfect brow pencil and brow palette. And I tell you, I had gone through a lot trying to find a good one. And it also has waxes, but I trimmed my brows because they were starting to go wonky. And I just thought, no, it's not worth it. Oh, you're just starting season four. Yeah, we just finished it. That's the one with Diana in it. So it's kind of just, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I won't say anything. Not gonna get into that. So I'm looking for a spoolie because I'm just going to smooth it. So we brush up, always brush up. We want everything lifted. And the reason why I do the, the cheeks up here is because as we age, if you, you know, the olden, the olden days, <laughs> when you would put them on your smile and put them there, and then when you stop smiling, you'll see they will drop. So everything drops because of gravity. So we want it to stay put. So now I am in, oh, well, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna chance it. So with this look, I would definitely do an eyeliner. So I'm gonna grab it. I meant to stick it out. I'm gonna do the dip and draw, but I'm not the shape, not the steadiest of hands these days. Where's my dip and draw? Here you are. In black, perfect. You could do brown too. Hmm. Maybe I will. Proper is brown. Either brown, or brown or black would look awesome. Um, if you don't, if you don't want to hide your like shorten your eyelid you can tight line but I'm not going that close to my eyes at all and so I'm using this dip and draw eyeliner in proper which is a beautiful brown and they have this really nice fine tip let's see how I can do roll up the sleeves Let's hope that's not the eye specialist. No, I think I want black. It kind of just blends in with the, the eyeshadow. Let's grab the black. Where is it? Guess what I'm doing Sunday. <laughs> Spring Hill Drive. All the details are all the details are all the details. Sorry, girls. <laughs> Yay! I get to see the eyes, but I am so happy. <laughs> Tears of joy are coming. <laughs> no. There we go. Yeah, seriously, they start to water. It's excited. My eyes are still so puffy. But it just, 
thickens the base of your lashes. It just adds a little bit. We always like a little pizzazz. And I'm sorry, the, eyel the eyeshadow would have been more smooth, but I didn't. I had stuff on my eyes, which I totally forgot about some medication, so it's not gonna look the same. It's never looked this bad before. It's just uneven because of all of that. So I stay close and then I get a little wider when I go to the outside. And I like a little wing. Little tiny wing. There we go. And then you know what else you could do, which I'm not going to do, is take a little bit of proper pencil liner and tight line in your lash line. And that too is just, we'll pull it all together. But what I can do, we'll see, it may not look the greatest because of my redness, is take, take a, again, our overt, no ornate. Let's get those two. Ornate is um, the metallic, overt is the matte brown. And I'm going to just dot it. along my lash line and then take crease um, uh, maybe I'll take this brush fine brush and just sort of bring that color down it's lost in the redness <laughs> sorry <clears throat> don't need to blend it it seems like it went on really good <clears throat> there we go now now we can do our setting powder and I'm gonna use the new one I just love it so it's comes in this jar and it has the space because you need to shake it it needs to be you see shake it like a martini a double o, bond 07, 007. Because what it is, it is um, a water molecule encapsulated by powder. And so it's powder, and it's very, very finely milled, and a lot of it comes out into the tops of the lid, so I just wanna shake some of it down if I can. Because I don't wanna lose half of it. But, very fine powder and when you so I'm looking for the brush that I got that goes with it it's this beautiful brush it's so cute so and when the when it touches your skin the water those molecules burst and it turns to liquid so Lots of times I've heard people think, oh no, setting powders was drying. Now, I've never noticed that with ours. But this is definitely not drying. Just throwing it all over the place. <laughs> there we go. And it will diffuse and blend so I don't get it all over. It's so cool. It feels cool. It's got this cooling technology when it does that. I just love it. I'm just going to blend it in. So that's the same thing as our other setting powder, which when your natural body oils break through, 
your cure oils, perspiration. This traps it. And so that's what causes your makeup starting to look cakey or, or you're seeing your lines again because it breaks through and starting to separate your makeup. And so then all of a sudden it doesn't look so smooth and good. And that's what this does. This stops that, it traps it. So this is also a primer. So I could have put this on first, then use, you know, applied my makeup and then top with this now as an opera, as afterwards. And do you see how softened it did? Look at that. Except I've got I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Now we can apply our little bit of a highlighter. And I'm using our Alamode Pearly. I always love to add a little, it adds a little shimmer. Sort of a sun kissed glow. It doesn't, when I see it, it doesn't show as much, but I think the camera picks it up more. I don't know if you can see the shimmer, and then down my nose. And I'm doing the very tops of my cheekbone and the cupid's bow. Now, on to lashes. So, this bundle also includes a mascara. And I recommend the Twisted. It is everybody's favorite. It, I'm mine, too. I absolutely love it. It comes with two wands, a skinny wand and a regular wand. Um, you just twist each side, and it you can get into those all those beautiful... Um, closeness and it it really separates and as showcases all your eyelashes even the little tiny ones that you never knew you had um, I was going to use this but because I'm still tearing a lot I'm going to use our epic waterproof which also is in the bundle so you can choose twisted or the new limited edition special edition in teal I've got one coming and it is just gorgeous it is a very, very beautiful, soft color, just like the purple was a very, very soft color. It's not in your face. And then with the Epic, you can choose waterproof, black or brown. So I'm going to use, um, actually before I do that, I am gonna apply my setting spray. Now this is going to set our makeup and stop anything from outside, whether it be your, you know, your mask rubbing it off, whether it be pollution, humidity, smoke, fire smoke, whatever, anything around externally that breaks your makeup down. So you just hold it, you know, about what, 12 to 18 inches away, and then mist your face. And then my dollar store fan just to dry it faster. And the reason why I like to do it before I put mascara on <clears throat> is that after, if I do it after and I'm, I'm re wetting my mascara, and then I often will get, you know, get it touching my skin. And then I'll have the little dots. And if that happens, just let it dry and take a clean spoolie and flick it off. So, on to my water. So, I'm going to use the waterproof mascara, which is part of the bundle. And again, I'm a perfectionist. Well, not really, but I do like to do things well. And I just feel bad because of my eyes. I wasn't able to make the eye, my eyes look as that's they normally, it's normally the good that they look. So waterproof it is because my eyes are just tearing a little bit still and I'm still having to apply drops. So this way, it's not going to go anywhere. And this I know is a few of my girls or my clients are are just that's only they the only one that they get is the waterproof and what you could do is you could take the twist it apply it and then put your waterproof over top and that will really make it waterproof the twisted I would say is water resistant not waterproof <clears throat> and I belong to the itty bitty lash committee So it's not, I don't have these most gorgeous long lashes.
nothing I'm gonna do is gonna make my eyes look pretty today. Oops, see I touched. So I'll let that dry. Oh, and I forgot, I often apply lash primer. I just am right now not into putting anything on my eyes, very little. back and to build it up. I should maybe look at, you know, when before I got lash extensions, I used to have long curly eyelashes. <clears throat> and when I took them off, they were short and straight. <laughs> weird, eh? And then I went and got a lot lift, lift and tint, and then that made them weird, even weirder, didn't. Something wasn't right. Okay, good enough. So, this is the best I can do with this, girl. Sorry. Now I'm going to show you one more thing. It was in one of our bundles. <clears throat> it is not available back yet, but it's coming. It'll be part of our core line. Where did I put them? Oh, right here. Is our new lipsticks. I got them, and I love every one of them. So they are, you can see, if you even put this on weird, they're magnetic. It will straighten. And I know because I always go, and it's like, no, you don't need to do that. <laughs> I'm pushing it on. It's like, so you just get it close and it goes in on the rest of its way. So this is moneyed, and this is like a brown. So I'm trying to decide what color. And um, this is, oh, this is one of my favorites, Flaunty. Love, love, love the hot pink. Oh, watch, want to wear today. This one is Wealthy, beautiful red. And we do have a gorgeous red in our Splash Lip, Liquid Lipstick, Sizzling. And I will show that one last. Then these two are, I would say they would be my most used, is I just love them. Easy Street, it's which is this gorgeous soft rose. And then this is Uppity, which is just a light darter, darker. And so maybe this one is like an antique rose. And this is like more of like a mauve, a mauve rose. Very, very pretty. And so the last one I'm going to show you is minted. And it's I think it's going to just be gorgeous in the summer with a tan. It's a light pink. But what I've been using it and love it is to ombre in all of the other ones. It works on all of them. So until next summer when I have a tan, I'll be using that probably just by itself. But right now, let's do money. See, I, I go to push on it and I don't need it. And so I'm going to just wipe off any makeup. And let's do moneyed. I think that'll go with the browns. And it has this beautiful sharp point. It's non-feathering. Oh, I love this. I think this is my favorite sweater so far. I've got a lot that I like, but. Welcome, Iris, by the way. Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> It does give you a really crisp line. It's so easy. They are non-feathering, non-smudging. I had it on all day. I wore flaunty the other day. And when I went to bed to wash my makeup off, I still had some pink on. I think I hit my tooth. Okay. So that's pretty, just as it is. But any of the colors you can ombre. 
So I'm going to grab the minted. And so you just apply it in the middle. It's like I think I don't. And one thing with um, oops, wrong one. One thing with uh, mature skin is you don't need to have a sharp point. It actually is um, nice to have a softer. And I want to overline it a titch on the on the fronts. Now you could use lip liner, but you don't need to with these. I keep wanting to push it. All right, so now we're going to grab minted and just applying it in the center. I was always using concealer, but now we could, we've got the perfect lipstick. Okay, what's on there from before? I think I have a little bit of my flaunty on there. Yeah, I do. Hot pink. I'm just gonna blend it. There we go. Isn't that pretty? I just love love these lipsticks. <laughs> so on to pretty cute things. Let me show you this gorgeous sweater. So let's. And these are all matte lipsticks too, but, and I, I don't think they will transfer off, off, but I haven't tried them yet, worn them out. So here goes. This is my favorite sweater. So it's called Mint and Spice. It's just so cozy. And as I say, I'm wearing, you can wear it off shoulder and I'm wearing her new layering tank, which is what this spaghetti strap. And of course the bralettes. And the layering tank just, you know, hugs you in, gives you that extra warmth. It just feels so cozy and comfortable. And um, she does have so many wonderful jeans. Um, these are just my own, they're very old ones. But um, I, was, I wanna get one of another pair of hers. So this would be a good, I can't remember if I did order it, because like I say, I've ordered three orders and I already forgot what I've got coming. But I did wanna get some more of her jeans. And so buy two, get one item free. Use the code ELVI, E-L-V-I-E. -E. So girls, have a wonderful weekend. And it's not the best, my eyes, but it looks a lot better than when I started, right? Hello, gorgeous, welcome. Ombre, did you ombre with uppity iris? Yeah, it's, I love them all. I love them all and they're, they're just gorgeous. And I just thought this will look good with the browns, my lipstick. So have a wonderful weekend, girls. I am so glad you are here. And if anybody wants to get the beauty box, just message me or just go ahead and click that link and grab it and then let me know because I will help you with placing your orders and what else that you need to know and answer any questions. And if you, foundation doesn't come in there, so just say color match too, one word color match, and I will help you choose the right color foundation for you. So thank you girls so much. Take care and have a wonderful weekend and stay safe. Okay, bye.